Carl saw life through a donut hole for 14 years. But as a successful donut shop owner ready for a new adventure, he found fear kept him chained to the friars. Then he discovered how to use fear as the fuel that propels him toward his dreams. Now Carl teaches others to embrace fear instead of hoping it will disappear. Is there anybody here that can say, that could honestly say that you've never been stopped by fear in your life? That there's never been something that you wanted to do and you didn't do it because fear showed up? You see, that's how fear is. It's the nemesis. But yet we seem to have this dream that maybe someday, maybe the next time I want to expand my life, maybe the next time I want to try something new, maybe where fear won't be there then. But the thing about fear, it's always going to be there. It's always going to show up. So instead of spending your time trying to get rid of it, you'd be much better off spending your time changing your relationship to it. Because if you can change your relationship to fear, you can change your life. And fear shows up differently at different times in our lives. There's a group, and I like to call them the scary cats, that they'll admit that they're afraid, but they won't do anything about it. They'll fear that they're going to be embarrassed or that they're not going to look good, but they don't do anything about it. And there's another group of people, and I call these the opposers. And they'll do or say anything except admit that they have the fear. They'll say, no, I'll do that maybe next time. Or you go ahead and do that. That's not for me. Or I'd look silly doing that. I'm not going to do that. But really, they're just afraid, and they don't want to admit it. But there's a third group, and it's this third group that I think we all want to be in. And that's our heroes. See, the heroes seemingly act fearless. But really, they just have a relationship with fear so that it doesn't stop them. And they can move forward in life, and fear is there with them. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about how fear is in our life. And we're not going to talk about how to get rid of it. Because you're not going to get rid of fear. But we are going to talk about how to change your relationship to it. How to use fear as fuel. How to use fear as fuel to move you to the next level. To use it to propel your life forward. It's only been recently in my life that I've realized how much fear has been there. How much fear has actually been running the show and not me. And where it shows up the most for me has been in my career. I was 20 years old and I was sitting in a room very much like this, about the same amount of people, and it was a floor covering seminar. But the speaker touched me in a way that surprised me. And I had a few moments of, wow, what a great career to be able to talk with people that way, to be able to touch them and be with them in that way. And just as I was kind of getting a sense of, wow, can you do something like that for a living, the demon starts tapping me on the shoulder. He says, no, Carl, you're in the flooring business. You're on a different path. You don't go after what you want. And then years later, I'm listening to Wayne Dyer. And for a few moments, I had that sensation again. And just as I was getting comfortable thinking, wow, to really choose something you dream of, that you really feel good about, there's the demon again. Carl, he's good. He's really good. You, can, you can't do that. And I didn't. And then years later, again, a Tony Robbins seminar. And no sooner was I getting comfortable with that feeling of hope. You're too old, Carl. He's been doing it a long time. You can't get started. What I've realized recently is those are just stories. That's the opposer in me. Not even want to admit that I had the fear. I had a story had nothing to do with being in the wrong business or that I wasn't good enough and it had nothing to do with being too old. What it had everything to do with was getting the story out of the way and then I could see it was just fear. And once I saw that it was fear, I knew what I was dealing with. And once I could start dealing with it, I could start dancing with it. And as I start dancing with it, I can start moving my life forward. And that's why we're here today. 
is to get the story out of the way and just start being with fear and start working with it. So here's where we are. We're in the middle of talking about how fear is a part of life and how it shows up differently at different points in our lives. And there's one thing I know for me, and I see it in other people. I have an ongoing relationship with fear. And I never know if it's going to just step up and kiss me on the cheek, or it's going to hunt me down with a baseball bat. But I also know this, that the bigger amount of gain that I stand to achieve in my life, the bigger the fear is that shows up. And what I've learned is that if I tell the truth about it, if I can recognize that it's always the opportunity for me to move to the next level, then I know that it's the invitation for me to expand my comfort zone. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some fear-based work right now. So I'm going to have you turn to the partner you're working with earlier. We're going to work on three questions. First, you're going to share back and forth, how does fear show up in your life? What are the situations? What does it look like? How does it feel? And secondly, when was the last time that fear actually won in your life? And how did that feel? And what was the motivation behind the fear winning? And then thirdly, how would your life be different if you had a different relationship with fear? How would it be better if you had a better relationship with fear? So here we go. Number one, share back and forth. How does fear show up? What does it look like? How does it feel? 